Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. Today is all about everybody's favorite installment in the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. FNAF AOR! Yay. Alright, so seriously, Olympix made a post yesterday announcing some interesting and exciting new features coming to the game in the fall, which is kind of far away, but it seems like they have big plans, so hopefully it all works out well in the end. So this is going to be a very weird and complicated video because they announce some things, but they don't really tell us what those things are and what they mean for the game, really. So let's not waste any more time. Double check, make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button while we're down there, and let's hop into it. So the story starts three days ago when Illumix made this tweet. Jetpack Balloon Boy, the third and final skin in FNAF 8 or Scream, Punk event is getting ready to leave town. So pay him a visit before Scream Punk's gears wind slowly down. And now, the reason why I'm calling out this tweet, even though it's in the past and we already know what's coming, is that that's the whole point. We didn't know what was coming. Because usually, Illumix will have a hint as to what's coming next, whether it's a new event or, you know, new character, new update. But this had nothing. It was just saying that the Scream Punk event was ending, and so we got speculating. If they're not saying there's a brand new event, could we be getting something more? And that's exactly what we found out two days later when Olympics posted this huge announcement saying, all right, we're working on a lot of cool things. They're coming out in the fall. So let's go through that post. FNAF AR July update, improvements, new events, and more. Interesting that they don't say new game modes, new characters, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Hey all, Illumix here. There's been a lot of work going on behind the scenes as, oh, as always, Lamau. As our team's been addressing game fix upcoming events and building something special. We wanted to make sure to take the time to thank you all for your support and patience as we keep moving forward with FNAF AR. And keep y'all in the loop. Without further ado, here's an update on what's on the way for the game. To date, we've been working furiously on important FNAF AR improvements and squashing issues in an update that will be released over the next few weeks. Dynamic asset loading to reduce crashes. Apple account sync to help you recover your accounts, I love that. Lengthy encounter fix, finally. Event reward fixes, battery fixes for plush trap encounters. Golden Freddy noise meter fix, animatronic remnant assignment fix. Updates to localize text for our players worldwide and many more. So right off the bat, I do just want to say thanks Illumix for fixing bugs three months after you said you were gonna fix them. They say it's coming in the next few weeks, which means that it's taken them two months to, uh, finally address that they're fixing these issues, which is, I mean, it's good that they're fixing them, but goddamn bro, two, three months? Oh my gosh. In the meantime, get ready for some spectacular blast from the past, and get excited for more details on a very special release this fall. We do already know what's going on with the blast from the past, and I'll update you guys later on in the video, but this is the juicy part of the post. We've been listening and taking notes of things that you've all said you enjoyed as well as things that you'd like to see a change in. We can't reveal everything, but here's just a peek into what we're working on for the fall with more clues and details coming, of course. All right, two things before we hop into it. Number one, I call cap on them keeping us up to date with the details, because they say that and then they don't do it. Uh, and number two, good God, finally. A year and a half later, they're finally listening to what we like and what we don't. Again, I suppose I, I do have to applaud them for, you know, fixing bugs and listening, but you can't do it any sooner. Don't get me wrong, I'm excited that they're fixing stuff, I'm, I'm super happy that they're finally listening, but I shouldn't have to say, finally listening, finally fixing the bugs. I feel like FNAF Aero needs more people working on it, you know? It just, it seems like they're too small of a company. I don't know how many people work at Illumix, but it feels like they need a lot more help. Anyways, in respect to things enjoyed, we know that lots of you deeply enjoyed Plush Trap and his mixed reality encounter. So they just kind of end that thought there. So I'm assuming that means that we're gonna get more mixed realities in the future. Nightmare animatronics in the bedroom, you know, maybe Funtime Freddy in the breaker room. I don't know. Again, it's a weird place to stop that sentence, but that's, that's the end of that thought, moving on now. <laughs> also, let me point out the things that we enjoyed. It takes up one out of the five lines in that paragraph. That is hilarious to me. For things to change, we've heard your feedback on microtransactions and wanted to give you all a different option that's more like DLC or an expansion. 
pass. All right, so there's going to be a lot of pausing and talking as I read through this paragraph, but Illumix, I feel like you misinterpreted what we like and what we don't like about microtransactions. FNAF AR is a free game. It costs nothing to download the game, and it costs absolutely nothing to play the game and enjoy it. But of course, there's microtransactions. All free games have that, and that is how you make your money. We all understand that. It is the prices that we don't like. If I can buy FNAF Help Wanted's DLC of Curse of Dreadbear, which expands the game by loads and is considered to be, among many, the best DLC, the best game in the entire franchise, for the same price as Poop Toy Bonnie? <laughs> That's an issue. Maybe I don't speak for everyone, but the microtransactions are not the issue. It is the prices of the microtransactions that we have an issue with. We have been focused on developing a whole new experience for this fall that will act as a FNAF AR expansion pack. With all that considered, we've been focused on developing a whole new experience for this fall that will act like a FNAF AR expansion pack and feature multiple animatronics, plus an entirely brand new game mode. That's all for now. Keep your eyes open and stay on your toes as more special delivery comes your way. They kind Kind of explain what DLC is, but at the same time, I'm still so confused. Multiple animatronics. Is that new characters? Is that, you know, skin events now? Are new characters only going to be in DLC packs that we have to buy separately? Are brand new game modes only gonna be in the DLC that we now have to purchase instead of just updating our game for? It's confusing, and like, it's, it's weird that they don't explain it fully. That, that gives me a lot of not good hope, <laughs> we'll say that. I'm happy that they're working on a brand new game mode. I hope it's actually a brand new game mode. Because in the past, when they mention a brand new game mode, it came out as, you know, challenges were a brand new game mode, the brand new gameplay update was a brand new game mode, the frickin' photo booth was a brand new game mode. So I hope that this is actually a brand new spin on the actual gameplay of the video game, dude! And again, what did the DLC packs mean? Are they always gonna be brand new characters? Is it gonna be like what the Hall Halloween event was, where it's a couple skins, couple of characters, a brand new game mode mixed into one DLC pack? I think a good idea for DLC would be, you know, basing it by sets of characters or sets of games. Like, this is the FNAF 3 pack, which has all the phantoms. You know, this is the, the fun time pack, which has all the sister location characters. You could take FNAF 6 and split it up into two different DLCs, the Rockstars and the Scrap Animatronics. And I'd love to say, I know what the DLC is, but we just don't! Illumix loves to use the word animatronics, because then we can't get upset if it's all skins, because those are animatronics. They did the exact same thing last Halloween, where they said we're getting four new animatronics, and we did. We got Plush Trap, we got Jekyll Chica, Jekyll Bonnie, and then also the Katrina Toy Chica skin. So is the DLC all new characters? Is it all new skins? Is it skins and characters? Is every DLC gonna have a brand new game mode? Are they getting rid of micro transactions completely and only having the DLC, or are they gonna have options for DLC and an option for microtransactions? I just, like, I have so many questions, and they're never gonna answer it. Some very exciting stuff, it's just I have a lot of questions. And by the time that fall rolls around, it's gonna be close to a year after Golden Freddy, and that's just insane. I get creating a character takes a long time, but a year should not be the case. Especially when you take all of your time and focus on making skins after skins after skins, week after week after week, whatever. Again, I'm excited about new stuff, the new game modes, new characters, you know, what the DLC thing is gonna be. That's interesting, you know, I'm intrigued by it. I just, I can't help but feel doubtful because of a Lumix track record. But. Anyways, up until fall, we have a lot of Blast From The Past events to look forward to. The first one goes live today, and they call it the Freddy Festival. And it's gonna feature Golden Freddy, Freddy Frostbear, Black Ice Freddy Frostbear, Shamrock Freddy, Woodland Toy Freddy, and VR Toy Freddy. For some reason, not Firework Freddy. I don't know why he's not in there, because he has a very old skin, but... I. Uh, I don't know. So yeah, that goes live today. It seems like they're gonna rotate the, the base character every single week if we assume that the Blast from the Past are going to rotate every week like they did back in January, I think. So this week is Freddy, next week Bonnie, week after that Chica, then Foxy, you know, Baby, Springtrap. I get why people think I just completely despise Illumix and their, you know, game 
but that's so not the case. I'm just critical about it. Because of what they've done in the past and because of how they choose to interact and respond to fans, the community, feedback, criticism, all of that stuff. I don't hate the game, I just, uh, I'm critical about it, right? I like to critique it because it has a lot of things to be critiqued about. And so I hope that, you know, all the bug fixes go well, I hope that the new game mode is something to look forward to, I hope the DLC is worth buying. Because my god, if skins are 10 bucks right now, and they're making multiple characters and a brand new game mode in a DLC pack, that's gonna be like a hundred bucks, dude. Like, I hope the prices are well, and I hope that it's actually worth buying. But we're just gonna have to wait and see. It seems like this uh, game is gonna be lying low for a couple months until we get all the stuff rolling out in the fall. So what do you guys think? Are you excited for the DLC packs? Are you excited for new characters? Who do you want to see as a brand new character? I know a lot of people finally want Funtime Freddy, Lefty. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the flip side. Goodbye.